we're gonna jump in. Uh, we have a new emote, Dan Food. So if there's a cutscene, make sure you enjoy some popcorn. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and play Monster Hunter World. Dan's Gaming World exclusive. Not really, but we'll pretend. All right, here we go. Yeah, this game, this Monster Hunter has a full story mode with cutscenes. Here we go. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. Creature. It's a cat. Oh my god, that ham looks great though. Yo, did you hear? We're almost there. You ready to grab this new world by the horns? Don't know about you. It feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So, nervous? Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happening. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey, tell us your name! Oh, I, I'm, hi, I'm Dan. I'm, I'm nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, wow, I look sexy. Well, I don't. What is that supposed to be back there? I'll just take the regular background. I don't. What is that supposed to be? I'll take the regular, I guess. Wait, two genders? That's it? Let's see what we have to start with. We'll adjust accordingly. That is one unfortunate looking man. Wow. It's kind of close to the lead singer Rush. Oh. Okay, we'll start with the box cover guy. We will adjust him. Gotta be thick. That's getting better. I think that's the one. <laughs> okay. Nope. Wait, back up. Skin. He'd be far paler. Age. A little older. Not too old, though. Wrinkles. Hairstyle. <laughs> huh. Wow. So beautiful. Beautiful hair. Not a lot of hairstyles, though. We'll 
be bald. Eyebrows. All right, we'll do that. Uh, eyes. Uh, normal eyes. I like those eyes. Nose. There's a lot of a lot of customization features. You know what's silly though is we're gonna be wearing a helmet the whole damn time, so we're not gonna see this like hardly ever. Mouth. Sup, brother. No, uh. Okay. And facial hair. New subscriber. Uh huh. Hmm. I don't know. It's not thick enough. Need to be thicker. You can put lipstick on. <laughs> I don't mind a scar. That looks cool. Change the color though. Gotta have a like a very generic scar. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh, back up. Confirm. Is there a way to make the character more? What's the word for it? In A, I guess. I don't know. A little thicker. Wait, are these changing? I can't. Looks like he's having a stroke. <laughs> oh, God. that one. Oh, OMG. Oh my God. What is that outfit? Holy shit. Wow. That, oh my God. What am I, a stripper? What is this outfit? Look like I'm a go-go boy about to go on stage to get some tips from the older gentleman. I don't know what the hell that's all about. New subscriber. Holy crap. Thank you for subbing, T-Virus. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let me set this up so I can see subs when they come pop up. Thank you, T-Virus and Snowcrust. You guys are awesome. Thank you for becoming weebs. I don't see a way to adjust body type, unfortunately. We'll go Twitch purple. Nah, 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 nah. Voice. 
dois. Oh. New subscriber. Oh. Can you imagine just sitting in a booth doing these? Okay, that was more of a uh. We're looking more for of a huh. Could you give me a huh, please? Huh? No, that's more of a huh. We want a huh. Uh, uh, okay, back up. Uh, choose the default equipment. You'll still be able to change now your equipment after you start the clear. game. <laughs> I'll stick with leather. That one looks weird. Okay, let me double check. I think the eyes are off. I look like... I don't know. I look like a... Like, slightly like an Asian sage or something. Like I'm about to teach you some monk secrets or something. Or I'm like a great uh, ninja master who studies way high in the mountains or something. I don't know. I'm so wise. They look a little old too. Those long lashes, looking good. Oh, hello. We need brown eyes, that'll help a bit. Boom, boom, boom. Firm, and then Yeah, I don't really have a Sky RL, and not really this thin, so we're just gonna have to suspend our disbelief, okay, a little bit. All right, well, I think this is what we're gonna go as. We're gonna have a helmet on most of the time, so we'll go see ourselves anyways. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Enter my name. Dan. What is that? Your palico. What does Dan Derp look like? Dan Derp is light brown. I like that one. It's kind of close. It's pretty close to that one. Well, that's just fucking adorable. Jesus. So cute. Oh my god. So, like, are cats like humans in this world? They like wear clothes and shit. All right, little lyric. Call him Derp. That's what he is. 
A little dirt. New subscriber. Thank you for subbing. So, how about a toast? Thank you. Oh, my character looks. Hi, Derp. To the A list and the commission. Woo! Cheers! Whatever that means. <sighs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the fifth fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree. Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. Thanks for seven B. Waves dot. are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. <laughs> You're on the A list, right? Huh. I know what do you do? <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A lister myself. A <laughs> terrible lip sync. Uh oh. <laughs> Save the food! Save the food! No! Can islands do that? Like What the hell? Oh, I'm in control. Oh, whoops. I've never seen that happen on sea before. Hello? Okay, let me check a couple of settings. All right, let's. Oh, I can't open the menu to test. Wait, okay, nevermind. Do I don't know. <laughs> Climb wall. Oh, hey, it's you! Look what happened to the ship. Does insurance cover <laughs> this? Do something. Well, I could. If that's molten rock, wouldn't that catch on fire by now? Yeah, the frame rate is all over the place. It's like 60, then it's 30, then it's 60. It's, it's all over the place. Natural. I see a flying thing over there.
this is a creature, isn't it? Ron, I knew it. What do you mean you knew it? Time to hitch a ride and get off this thing. Come on, let's go. You get could not be sick. Then jump. This is a living creature. What the? Gotta do is drop her. Save us a lot of grief. I have a feeling she's gonna. that thing. What's this? Somebody must have set up this camp. How convenient. Head for Research Commission's HQ. Walk over to the handler. Hi. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. What are the chances of that? Looks like we're right around here. Okay. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Okay. Yeah, we're on performance mode. We're on, we're on a prefer... Uh... Let's try the other setting real fast, see what it does. Come here! Shut up. How about prefer graphics? Oh, hmm. God. Ooh, the frame rate gets really bad. Oh. Hmm. Okay, how about uh, prioritize resolution? Never mind. How about frame rate? Hmm. Okay, we are definitely sticking with frame rate because it's the smoothest. The graphics one runs way worse. Come here. Why is Soto crying? The Research Commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. Do I, I don't have a weapon yet, do I? We better hope we don't run into something. According to the map, to get to HQ, we need to... Hmm. These Abdenoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Oh, I just got a copy from one of the community managers at Capcom. Uh, gave me a copy about five it minutes looks ago. Looks like we need to go around. Okay, well, let's go around. Uh, the, uh, the full game will unlock naturally in about four or five hours on PS4. Hmm. Oh! Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Oh, did that heal me? Wait, where'd she go? 
Am I supposed to follow you? Okay. What a weird plant. So you smack the plant and then it There's sprays juice too. all over you. Come on. I think I found the way back to base. Okay. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Are you saying you stink so bad that the, the flies are following you? Hmm. Yeah, we unfortunately. Push our way through these vines. Unfortunately, the PC version won't be released until the end of the year, roughly. I don't know why, but we have to wait, unfortunately. Yeah, she's kind of annoying, but I think she'll be gone once you get to the town. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stay... Uh-oh. They're hunting packs. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, easy there. Don't pick a fight if you don't have a weapon. I... We need to hide. Come on, this way. Oh. Uh... Hurry! Why didn't we bring? Oh yeah, I forgot we crashed. Hurry up and hide. Oh, I'm hiding. Hurry Other X. Other X. Okay, got it. New subscriber. You can... Okay, so... Are they so dumb they can't see me go in there? Don't... Hmm. Uh. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while we still can. I did not earn a trophy for that. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Do devs not understand what trophies are? Something that you accomplish that's hard. <sighs> not hiding in a bush. I hate freebie trophies like that. Nothing like, can stop us. Especially the ones where you turn on the game and it's like, here, have a trophy. Like, what? I didn't earn this. Ow, shit. Oh. <laughs> no damage. Okay. Is that a sh Oh, that's our ship, isn't it? Well, that's a ship. I don't know if it's our ship. What is this track? Hmm. There's more over there. It looks Let's like a Ugliosaurus. Hmm. I see an Ugliosaurus skid mark. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. It has fabulous hair, though. Those dreadlocks are amazing. Don't worry, I'm coming. I got you. I, um, Don't mind me. That was my monster. This way. Hurry. Okay, I'm the player, not you. Move. God damn it. I'm the freaking player, not him. I get all the glory. Move! That is not good. Uh oh. What are you waiting for? Get over here. You subscriber. Come on! Oh, he's gonna feel that in the morning. Jesus. New subscriber. Wow. 
Thank you for subbing, Dosk and Morbazan. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> oh, this, this is the town. The rest of the fifth are already here. Yeah, we're playing on the pro. You're the last to arrive. Graphics are from 1920. Okay, oh, set him oh. down here. Take a nice I'll leave the tape off your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. God forbid <laughs> you to do something. Well. <sighs> hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? This here's our trade yard. <laughs> I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? We've got it all here. I need you to give me that sword. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do New the research, subscriber. technicians to keep them going. Thanks for subbing, Blue. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. He looks wise AF. Welcome to Astera. Oh. Welcome to Astera. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who the player is. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I've been pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expected you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. Which is not what he just said. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think of what you can do as a team. Before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Oh, the cat. Okay, I was... Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around Estera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. I was like, okay. is she I'll in the... the grand tour? Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. So we stop by later to see what they have. All the crap is there. Cool. What is this machine? Next so... is the smithy. It's this way. Wait a second. So you have stuff on here. Over here. That just goes in circles? What's the point of that? It's literally just like it's not like doing anything. It's just going in a circle. This town looks fantastic though. Over here. More stuff going in circles. Gotta love it. <laughs> it's like it reminds me like a dessert tray that just circles around to show you the goods. You were the commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Wait, does this game have Born a photo right mode? Here. Never even been to the old world. Guess there's no photo mode. Nope. Not able to take screenshots. Nope. Button. Nope. Oh well. Is that Matt Mercer? I wonder why I was aroused. I was like, oh. Hmm. Here's our smithy. This is where wow. we craft weapons and armor. That is a forge. We'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Want to check it out? Yeah, share button's not as smooth though. Ooh, it's toasty in here.
because then you gotta do all this stuff and it's annoying. Okay. Whoa. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. This looks cool. I have a feeling we're gonna spend a lot of time here making gear. That is one hell of a forge, though. That thing must get hot. Want to get going? The canteen? I am so there. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Here. Over here. This here is our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Oh, there's Derp. Oh, he looks lost. Hey, you! <laughs> yeah, this is the first Monster Hunter to have a single player campaign, I believe. There's a little dirt. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. I do just like having to manually click. To Would you continue. like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros, a huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. What the hell is that thing? Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. That pirate cat looks badass. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right, dismissed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Not even a, here a whole day and already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Now that's pay to win. Thank you for the three dollar tip. Shabot says a lot of people are in chat complaining about graphics. Do you prefer great gameplay, decent graphics, or great graphics and mediocre gameplay? Well, that's an easy question. If you want a game with that looks just beautiful and it's boring as shit, uh, there's lots of those. Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, the last couple Battlefields. Um, a couple of the Call of Duties were boring as shit. Like, there's tons of games that are beautiful graphics and just stale as shit gameplay. New subscriber. 
thank you for subbing, uh, Varum. I don't mind the game being slightly ugly if it's fun to play. You know, some, it's like an ugly chick. Sometimes, you know, they're not pretty to look at, but they're fun, you know? They can show you a good time. Over here. There's a box of full equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The battlefield games are legit. You can grab yourself a weapon. Not all of them. Oh, this is my room. <laughs> I just, I triggered every Battlefield fanboy at once. They all cried out New in pain subscriber. at once. Uh, thank you for subbing, uh, Bostolis. Thank you very much. This game's definitely not going to win any graphic awards right now. It's, but remember, this is, the, this is a console version. Hopefully sure the choose a weapon that suits you. Hopefully the PC version is much, 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 much better. Let's see, item box. Change equipment. The 14 hunter weapons. Well, armor sets comprise of five pieces. Each one offers a uh, some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid in your hunts. You can mix and match pieces however you like to suit your play style. You can save equipment loadouts also quickly switch between your favorite gear combinations. I want to try... I want the great sword. Buster sword, that's the one. We're gonna try that. That's gonna be our start. We're gonna try that first. So it's either chain mail or leather. What's the skill that it gives? There it is. Extends the time until your stamina cap decreases by 30%. And the other one, speeds up gathering and prevents knockbacks while gathering. Great. I'll take that leather helmet, I guess. Same defense, except that one has better against uh, water. Uh, same one. Same thing. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. What does that do? Guess we'll stick to leather for now. We'll stick to leather. Thank you. Oh, is there a lake or something? I'll, I'll get going. A minute. Wanna get going? Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there waiting with a quest. Next, you, you can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. How are you talking to me with your mouth closed? Next time, 90 sign for quest, let's head to the canteen. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna try out all the weapons at some point. We're starting with the great sword. <laughs> now you have access to the armory and provision stockpile. Grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with the handler at the canteen. And sign up for a quest. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads, and the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. <laughs> oh, nice weapon, buddy. I guess Over it here. means the time to get hooked up with some supplies. You carry pretty much everything you need. So if you ever short anything, I'm your guy. But as much as I love to take all your zenny, it's not a good idea to gather as much as you can while out in the field. Oh, zenny's the currency. I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, 
a binocular I just see further and observe from a distance. I'll take that. Usually shaped item, uh, shaped weapon, trap tool. Eh. Zenny, what a weird name for a currency. All right, let's go to grab our first quest at the canteen. Oh, that one's disabled. Blue is up this way. Hey! Dan, the sword's way too small. I should get a bigger one. Well, I mean, in anime standards, this is a small sword. Like, Cloud would be laughing at this. Like, huh. You call that a sword. Oh, here you are. Right on time. Okay, partner, time to get down to business. The guild teams up, teamed up with us for some reason. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. I'm the bread to your butter. Got it? Oh, yeah. The Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagras' habitat. Then we got to cull a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagars of Ancient Forest Quest. You ready? What are we waiting for? The wild Wonders the world. world awaits. Post a new quest. Quest involved, blah, blah, blah. Assignments, quickly's mission advanced story. Optional quests include favors your NPCs. More will become available as you meet necessary requirements. You take on optional quests many times you'd like. Uh, investigations, special quests are issued by the resource center. Can we take a limited number of times? Events, special quests exclusive to online play. Okay. Uh, you're free to explore Astera while preparations for the quest are complete. Grab meal at the canteen, shore up your supplies at the prison stock pile, grab latest gear at the smithing armory, then dress your equipment and organize your items in the box. You'll be heading out on the field in no time. Uh, take a look at the upper left corner of the screen. When your quest is ready to begin, you'll see a notification there. Once prepared, press uh, square anytime. You can go and stand by pressing X from the party member screen. Stand by departure, blah, blah, blah. Right, let me have a meal, I guess. Welcome to the canteen. Best place for you to boost your hunt. You're for, you from the fish, right? Thanks for the sub, Yanvig. Well, let me clue you in on what the canteen's all about. Gains, health, stew, whatever, max gains. Go on and sit down over there at the counter, scrawny. When you're ready to get your pre-hunt on, let me know. Eating meals can boost stats and health, uh, such as health and stamina, and grant food skills. Select the meal you want to eat from the menu. Meal effects are shown. Food skills are probably being activated. Use fresh ingredients for that probability. Meal effects ends when any of the following happens. You complete a quest. You return from a quest or expedition. Uh, you faint during a quest or expedition. You can eat again at a camp a short time after eating a meal, about 10 minutes. Don't forget to eat again after fainting. Let's pay with money. Uh... Let's go attack up, meat platter. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, okay. I don't know if I want a cat like getting its paws all over my food though. Time limit 50 minutes. Oh thank guys, I like the beta. Alright, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Rule number one, complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Okay. That's how usually quests work. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. 
We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. Yeah. The small monsters, remember? Mm hmm. I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? So I have to kill seven. Rule number two use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. All right, let's check the supply oh, yeah. box. I'll take the food hey, and... Partner. What's up, bro? Want to right. get going? Hey, I want to do this by myself. Go away. Uh -huh. Yeah, textures are a bit low resonous. Be careful. Item hot bar. Oh, but right down there. Potions hot keyed. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in Draw mind weapon. what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. All right, so when you're investigating or gathering that items. That swing. You generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. What's Gathering sites and monster positions okay, on the wild map for you. Gotcha! No! Oh. Great sword is a powerful close-range weapon. So attacks leave you wide open. The payoff. Charge well slash open. wide slash. Got it. All right, go ahead and cut. What? I got it. I need supplies. Got raw meat. Sorry. Nothing personal. I just need some meat from you. I'm sorry. How do you put weapon away? What was sheathing weapon? Uh oh. Okay, clicking there. Okay. Why are you guys sad? This is Monster Hunter. We're going to be... If you're sad about monsters or creatures being killed, this is not the game for you. That's kind of the whole game, is killing monsters. Literally, the entire game is monster hunting. Oh, herb. Grab that. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Oh. Hmm. I know. Seeing something dying in this game and being sad is like watching porn and complaining there's nudity. Like, like if you don't want Over that, here. don't watch. I see it. Hold on. Let me gather. You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. A pack of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. I see. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. What is this? Slinger torch? Slinger ammo that can be used to scare away small monsters illuminate dark areas. What is this? Parashroom. Mushroom juice and paralysis required to craft trank bombs. Oh! Whoop. What the hell that was? Oh, hi. No, oh, come here. Whoa. Hello. This weapon is so They're on the run. Don't slow. let them get away. Holy crap. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. The great sword is slow as shit. Oh my god. Okay. Go ahead and farm. Over here. Roll after you swing. Oh, does that do something? Oh. Wait. Swing. Roll. Does like a shoulder bash thing. Okay. 
Go ahead and grab whatever that is. So it's like you roll and boom to knock something down, I guess. Okay. Whoops. Come here. Woohoo! Whoa! What was that? I'm learning. Oh, God. Stab him. Got ya. Oh, God, there's a lock on. Thank God. Uh uh. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, well, we did it! <laughs> yeah, his weapon hits really hard, but holy crap, is it slow. That's the trade off. You hit like a truck, but man, is it slow. And it's one of those weapons, if like you miss, it's devastating. It takes so long to swing again. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, timer. Put the weapon away. Now that's crazy. Okay, I'm carving for loot. Don't worry, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm carving for loot. Oh, these guys are super common, though. It's not that. Not like this. these things are super rare or anything. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 circuits. Okay, come on. <laughs> Bus complete. What is, is he eating sausage? All right, let's see. Send to item box. Okay, I'll take it all. Items gathered by... Oh, he can gather stuff? Derp's not completely useless. Nice. Palico's attack and defense decreased. New costume is added to the gallery. Palicos are amazing. I don't know if I would be comfortable in real life with a cat Good that's as tall as that is wearing clothes and having weapons. Fine work taking down those Jagras. Hmm, so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing, I see. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe the starting um, it may be start stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We've also received reports of Castadon herd getting out of hand. This must be because of all the Zora Mandros. Because the, uh, the more Zora Mandros made landfall, get everything riled up. And listen up. Well, it isn't, going to, it isn't going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like to investigate the Castadon herd and cull their numbers. I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Counterpart and quest other players online. Turn on voice back chat function now. Oh, thank you. All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Wait, get your login bonus? New subscriber. Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration content now available. Quest Lessons of the Wild available until 2 uh, 28. Add-on content now available. Download free hairstyles and classic gestures. 
Huh. Thank you for subbing, Shimon. Thank you. Okay. Options. Manual accept. Alright, let's go craft something. Uh, the forge was this way, I think? Hi. Fiverr, we, we're all ready to, to open our tavern and gathering hub, the celestial pursuit. At the gathering hub, you can meet up with other hunters and embark on quests together. To find the celestial pursuit, just look up. See that ship atop a stair? Looks like it's about to sail the stars. That's it. You can get right up there by taking a lift. <laughs> Please come visit up as soon as you get the chance. Okay. Don't make fun of her. She's special. What's this guy? That is a that that is a lot of books. New subscriber. Holy crap, dude! Thank you for subbing. We love games. Yes. Ah, hunter from the fit, uh, are you? Then you must have finished your first quest. This is ecological research headed up by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monster data out there? Tracks, gashes, that sort of thing. Data tells us a story about the monsters, an elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track the monsters, collect data, and advance New the study. Survivor. Our job is to take that data, analyze it, and compile its findings for the commission. What we learn helps you out in the field, too. You see, we need each other. I'll be here. Drop by any time and I'll show you what we're working on. Ecological research is a facility that studies monsters. Their studies help can help you with hunts and investigations. Gathering monster tracks will help and the like learn your research points. Click nerf research level will go up, giving you access to new features and intel that make your hunts easier. You can also consult the monster field guide to for view monster such as habitat, weakness, and materials that can be carved. Research levels do not increase automatically. When you see report on your results screen, make sure you pay them a visit. Okay. Cool. That's all right. Ever consider being a voice actor? No. I am not delusional. I could do maybe like two okay voices and that's it. Wow, now that is a pretty sky. Holy crap, that is gorgeous. Looks kind of flat, but the art is beautiful. Yeah, someone put some love into that. Um, I think the smithy's over here, yeah. Yeah, the, the texture of the skybox looks kind of kind of flat, I don't know. But it does look pretty. Hi. My, my, my. There you go, newcomer. You look a lot more huntry with a weapon on your back. Whatever the hell that means. This is the armory. We deal in ready-made weapons and armor. If you need a weapon ASAP, don't have time to gather materials, we're your ticket. So newcomer. I don't want to purchase. I want to use my own. Or upgrade. There you are, Fiber. Ah, look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You'll need my service a lot. What I do is simple. Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your equipment.
Uh, you can use monster materials in order to forge and upgrade equipment at the smithy. Give the materials as you earn as quest rewards or carve them from monsters to the smithy to get make new stuff. Upgrade. All right, Buster Sword 2. First, select the weapon you want to upgrade, then use the materials to upgrade different weapons with a variety of improved stats. If you want more base weapons to enhance, you can create more by selecting forge equipment at the smithy. Upgrade weapons can also be downgraded. The weapons used to uh, upgrade the weapon will be returned to you. So, uh, select a weapon with the cursor and press to add to your wish list. Once you've acquired enough necessary materials to create the items, you'll receive a message. Oh, cool. So there's also Bone Tree. We'll try Buster Sword too, though. Yes. Huh. Not bad. Now what about the third one? Don't have that. New Don't have that. Yeah, so if you look at the trees here, uh, thank you for the subs, STF Seafood. So the weapons are, have like skill trees, and the Bone Blade 2 turns into either this, that, or that. And if you want to go back and try the other one, you can downgrade it back to this and then go up. It's kind of cool. Not bad. I think that's quite a bit different from the other games. So that way you can just take one item and keep it. Keep upgrading it. Each piece of armor has a level. You can use armor spheres to gain points, which are used to raise your armor's level. The equipment appearance won't change, but its defenses will increase. Limited number of times a piece of armor can be leveled up. Number of points gained depends on the type of armor used. Uh, let's upgrade this, I guess. Uh, sure. I don't know how rare these are. Okay. Well, it's upgraded. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but okay. Forge Palico equipment. Customize bow guide. Manage kinsects. Customize your insect glaives. Kinsect. I don't think any of the stuff that we have is very rare. Hmm. People in chat are freaking out over the armor orbs like they're super rare. <laughs> Silly noobs. Alright, um... All right, well now we upgraded our sword. I guess we go get another quest. Hey there, partner. Right, so next thing we need to take care of those Castodon. Chief said uh, we'll be tagging along. We'll start in the ancient for forest and go from ah. there. Got some news. We're, we handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there too, so don't take, you don't have to come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board, too. Hmm. It lists the same quests that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. Yeah, it's not quite fully voiced, but to make up for it, there are cutscenes. I believe the other Monster Hunters are almost like they were very little voice acting, if any. All right, let's grab some meat. Chef's Choice Platter. Health and stamina. Sure. This animation is badass, by the way. Looks like it's the same every time, though. <laughs> it's hoping to be like different every time you made something. That does look really good, though.
Uh, I think other players can enter the hub here, but you don't have to play with them. Like you might see them as we're walking around. We're on the hunt. All right, let's post a new quest. Let's see. Cast it on. Oh, it does change. Okay, thank you, Merkin. When lucky vouchers are used when posting a quest, you receive a bonus upon uh, completing the quest. Be sure to use vouchers whenever you have the chance. Random quest rewards are guaranteed drop. Reward money doubles. No, lucky vouchers can be obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered each day, and you can claim up to five days' worth at once. Also note that you can only carry a maximum of five lucky vouchers at one time. Oh. That's interesting. How am I liking the game start? We're still in the early tutorial, so I haven't really gotten to the New game yet. I haven't even fought a real monster yet. Thank you for subbing, Honor Camper. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing solo. I know a lot of people will be playing groups. I find it more fun to play okay. solo with Monster Our Hunter. Our job is to call a certain number of Kestodon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Want to get going? Do, do, do. All right. Let's grab some supplies. This one should be pretty easy, I would imagine, since it says Kestodon. Yeah, I remember. I remember when I played the Wii U one. Like you had to like go in, to a certain place to go on a quest, whereas now you can just accept it from anywhere. A little bit on the dark side. Ah, there we are. Those Hold on, my I... friend. Are kested on. Let me fix Let's it see for you, you. Take him out on your own. Hold huh. on. I'll fix the brightness for you. Yeah, that should be better for you. All right. So these things, oh, the things just sit there and let you be hit careful. them. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, that's not what I was thinking it was. Whoa! bad. Alright, let's go ahead and start carving. What? Alright, let's look for another group. I'm just killing these families of creatures and cutting out their organs. The Castadon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. Be careful. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Uh, I'm I up the brightness about to what it is what I'm seeing on my screen, which is pretty bright. Night is not dark at all. Wait a minute. Do you think maybe that the game is saying that I'm not hunting monsters? I'm the monster hunting. Maybe I'm the monster. Over here! What? I'm coming. Needleberry. I uh, know. What if we're the monster the whole time? We're killing all these innocent creatures. They're just chilling. Oh, there's a nice family. Be careful. 
How do you turn off the online session stuff right there? Is there a way to turn that off? Because that's getting annoying, all the pop-ups. Keep saying like someone, someone joined the online session. Someone joined the online session. I'll, I'll figure it out, but I, that's getting annoying. Oh, did I click multiplayer? Okay, I'll make sure to do single player. Oh, hi there. Let me just say hello. Boom. There's mommy. Now let's get daddy. Hey! They can fight back? That changes everything. Freaking missed. Hardcore missed. Oh my god. Got him. Woohoo! That just about wraps up our work here. Wait. Hey, come here. What? I think I found something. What? I'm just I'm just saying hi to these people. Yeah, this sword is gonna take some getting used to this slow. It is slow. Let's get harvesting some fun. <laughs> it is kind of sad when you think about it. I just let, I killed the mommy Over and here. daddy in front of the babies and then killed the babies afterwards. Here. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with them. Uh oh. Wait, what? He swallowed it whole. Now, now! A super agitated great dragon is bad news for us. We need to take it down. Gotcha! All right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the Great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? I want to do it now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go hunt it. If I'm... you need to call your friends for help, go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal it. I, and you're I... going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. I... In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, I don't have you need friends. to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. I don't have friends. Uh, I'm new to this. Can you sum up why people are so hyped about it? it kind of looks like generic kill X loop X. Um, well, you summarized most games out there, but uh, yes, it's you're hunting monsters and it's fun. Not everyone likes Monster Hunter, but I, I'm Good. liking it so you're far. Turning up a lot of clues. Follow the trail. that okay we'll keep following the footprints how's moving this game um so far it's okay aiming is a little rough right now but i just think i just have to get used to it because this weapon's kind of slow and clunky but there's 14 different weapons that all play differently there's fast ones there's melee there's ranged Okay, we've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the Scout Flies to lead us to it. Okay, well, Mr. Scout Fly, do your work. 
Another one. You can turn a little during the charge animation. Oh, I didn't know that. I you were kind of static. The little research meter keeps going up, so I'm going to keep grabbing all these little thingies. Level up on footprints. Nice. Where the hell did he go? You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Uh-oh. All right, Chad, here we go. this flask. Hurry! Hurry! Okay. Derp! Don't hit derp! Oh, hello. I'm in. Okay, the monster's tired. Now's the chance to get some serious damage. Woohoo! Nope. Ow. Get up. Get up. Get up. I think I need my... What's the sharp thing? The whetstone. Whetstone. There we go. Hey, come here! No, come here! <gasps> what? You're not supposed to whetstone mid-fight? Okay, run, find him. He's running away. What, you're not supposed to whetstone mid-fight? This be like, sir, hey, wait. Wait, I need to sharpen my blade. No, I'm sharpening my blade. Stay back. Shit right now. My Get the hell off the ground! Come on! Drink! 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 This Kool-Aid isn't very powerful. Woo! Oh! Sit your ass down! 
Get stop knocking me over. <laughs> Fucking get off of me! Little piece of shit! Why are you attacking me? Attack him! Kurt, run! The monster's almost done. A chance of falling over a tree to its nest to recuperate. Oh my god. Okay. Grab quickly. God, the little dude's knocking me over. It's so frustrating. <laughs> okay, take. Grab a little bit off of their body there. Okay, hurry. I uh, know. I thought the little guys were going to help me, but no, they're being dicks. Okay, chug. <laughs> I just noticed the. Go, 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 go. Okay, go ahead and. What? Stone. Hurry! No, 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 go back! He's sleeping. <laughs> Woohoo! He did not like that shit. Victory! Victory! Right in his face! Oh, yeah. By the way, I think that would wake someone the fuck up. <laughs> Smack him in the face with a hammer. Oh, yeah, let me move this real fast. Give me a second. Sorry about that. I'll move it over so it won't be less annoying. How about we try that side of the screen? Yay! Perfect! Okay, loot as much things as possible. 10 seconds. Yeah, we got a lot of materials out of this. I think we got a lead. Hmm. Maybe. Let's check it out. Hmm. I missed broken parts. Oh, do you have to pick them up off the ground? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Wow. Okay. It's it's like a frog and a and a pigeon had a baby. I don't know. But we freaking did it, chat. So many materials. Uh, Great Dragon's Claw and Mane. 
Oh, it picked it up automatically, I think. So if it breaks off, it, it'll grab it for me automatically. Nice. Research level increased. Gadget proficiency. Welcome to the new world. Thank you. Earn the right tick on level two assignments. Oh, it didn't? Oh, darn. All right, well. I got it while looting the corpse. Oh, never mind. I accidentally picked it up, and it... Okay. Got it. I see. So you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora, my guard... Well, I did some... I did se I did, I'd send some research out right now, but not with a pissed off pookie pookie. <laughs> Hanging around. <laughs> pookie pookie. <laughs> Territory. <laughs> that's, that's pretty deep in the forest. We'll, we'll be better equipped to take it off. <laughs> Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp. Once it's ready, we'll make our move. Want to get going? Until then, we'll do everything we can to help them get the camp up and running. Let's do it. Wait, that creature Once is called is Pookie up, Pookie? You can go after that Pookie Pookie. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> so, Hunter, you've, how, have you gotten used to how things work around here? New world, no, new rules is something you have to get used to. But you'll get used to it. You have to. Your life's counting on it. Not to mention others as well. Huh. Look around you. Everyone here, strange or crazy as they may seem. They all cross the sea just like you. And they've carried out their duties. They looked the new world in the eye and realized the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it. <coughs> Didn't stop them, though. They had conviction. Do you have conviction, Hunter? <laughs> You should get to know your colleagues. Maybe some of that craziness will rub off on you, huh? Now that's pay to win. Uh, we're playing on PS4 Pro. It figures that creature, that ridiculous looking creature has a ridiculous sounding name too. Pookie Pookie. We're playing on PS4 Pro. Uh, Capcom was nice enough to give me a, a, co a code to unlock the game early. Only by a few hours, but still it's nice to be able to play a little bit early. Uh, the game unlocks naturally in like, I think three or four hours for everyone else. I think four or five hours actually. Mm -hmm. All right, what is this? Resource center? Oh, you are too good to me. Well, Fiverr, is it true? You're going to help us rebuild the camp. That's excellent news. I hope you're as good as they say you are. If so, we'll have plenty of work for you. After all, the commission studies lots of things, not just the outer dragon you came here with. Maintaining and improving the base is a full, is a full plate of tasks in itself. Can't say anything about a proper HQ after all. The resource center here is in charge of divvying up all that work and making sure it gets done. <laughs> so back to business, your job is to establish a camp. Go on an expedition to the ancient forest find a viable campsite make sure it's safe if any monsters have decided doing the camping in your spot you need to chase them off don't let me down got it the bounty is for establishing the camp rebuild the ancient forest camp mm -hmm. resource center receives uh, researcher requests and manages the resources required to their investigations do bounties need to register beforehand whereas delivery requests can be completed just by handing in items when you unlock investigations during quests and expeditions, check in with the Resource Center to make them available as special quests. Bounties are missions you complete over the course of your quests and expeditions. First, check the critical bounties, then pick a registered bounty. You can take out multiple bounties at once. Most bounties reward you with armor spheres and research points. Once you've completed the bounty, drop off the Research Center to collect your reward. Register bounty. You can have six of these to have the list to accept. List is updated when you return from a quest or exposition, so check back frequently. These bounties unlock new facilities or upgrade existing ones and are accepted automatically. They can be acquired in either parallel or with the registered bounties at, or with one another. 
Limited quests. These quests are offered periodically to online users around the world and are available for a limited time only. When the time next limited bounty is released, it will overwrite the previous one. If you want to complete them all, be sure to keep an eye on the ex expiry date. Rebuild Ancient Forest Camp. Oh. So there's like, these are like little uh, side quests that I can like add on. So gather insects three times. That looks easy. Uh, mine six times. That looks easy. Large monster hunt. Hunt two large monsters. Uh, mushrooms. Complete the three quests in the ancient forest. Uh, gather plants four times. Well, we'll just take them all. There's only six. So we'll take them all. Cool. It's really just little side quests to give you extra armor spears and research points. I'll take them all, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get this expedition underway. Uh, Meet me at the gate. All right. Well, let's go check it. Talk to the research people, too, since we leveled up our research as well. Getting bored of the background song is a little repetitive. Good to see you. Ah, Hunter. Since you established yourself as a reliable presence here, I'd like to make a little request. When investigating large monsters, you can either slay or capture them. Naturally, both of their scientific merits, but you frankly... You can on an expedition just by heading out through the gate. Well, or you can use the world map. Whatever's easiest for you. Well, it would be better for our long-term research to receive a live specimen we can learn, later return to the wild. So if you capture your quarry alive, you'll be rec commended for it and receive greater rewards. Commission Good rules. Luck. How about it? Capture your target instead of slaying them, and you'll be making a great contribution to our efforts here. Wait a minute. You can go passive? Ooh. Let's talk to this guy. So it's true. They say he picked up on Zora Magras's tail. Let's hope it's true. Hard, so, I've been placing bets that, the, that you're the hunter who's going to bring back the goods. Don't let me down. So what is it? Uh, level one. Uh, current bonuses, monster field guide level two, scout field live bonus. Next level, material field guide bonus, point bonus level up. Yeah, it's, I guess it's not exactly passive. You have to beat the shit out of it to capture it, I guess. Well, at least you're not killing it. Laid-back botanist. Let's see if we can do any upgrades on our uh, stuff right now. It's not viable to capture hunters f regularly until way later. Is this game online only, or can you play the whole game in offline mode? In Monster Hunter on Wii, uh, second half is online only. I'm not sure. I know you have to have an internet connection for a lot of features. I think you can turn those off, though. Uh, hello. We're on the hunt. In multiplayer, you can enjoy quest edition of teams with four players formed from the maximum 16 players present in your online session. Players online session communicate via chat. Uh, multiplayer not available during story-related expositions. Choosing posting quest options, players, set passcode, uh, join quest, join quest letter accept. Uh, many quest expeditions can be joined while in progress. However, if you join a quest in a progress after a set time has passed, it was begun, you will not receive credit for completing the quest. Okay, optional. Chew the fat. Uh, to hunt two great jagresses. Time limit 50 minutes. Okay. Right now, we're in a stair. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. 
For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? So, expedition just means we just go in there, just free, free roam mode. So that we need to establish a camp over here. Uh, yeah, star collapse. So we'll be doing that. Uh, yeah, that is Matt Mercer. <laughs> 